Hey, David here with Guide Recommended. Continuing our fly tying tools series. Um, I'm gonna talk about scissors, fly tying scissors. What you should have, what you should look for, you know, qualities, all those kinds of things about fly tying scissors. So, we're gonna start out by saying, Fly time, you probably want to look at getting at least two, two pair of scissors to start with. Probably want to work into maybe three or four by the time it's all done. Number one, get a, a decent pair, decent pair of, you know, a, a large loop, finger loop, um, specifically designed fly tying scissors. Um, a lot of things go into these guys to make them better for uh, fly tying. So that's number one pair of scissors. Usually around 15 bucks, all right? I'll have a little link in the description below to kind of point you to what I like. Amazon and uh, Dr. Slick, um, you can get them in a kit, but the uh, it's about 15 bucks you can get a pair of these guys. Um, you're also probably find them laying around the house. Just some utility scissors. Tying flies, a lot of times you are you know, cutting things that are not feathers, right? You're cutting uh, wire, you're cutting tinsels, you're cutting um, a lot of things, skins, right? Um, here's some deer hair cutting these. Don't use your tying scissors to cut skins. You know, there's like all kinds of gritty crap in a hide. Um, use some utility scissors. Use these guys. Nothing faster to wear out your good scissors for fly tying than cutting, you know, pieces of copper, pieces of lead that you use fly tying. So I think the next steps we'll do is I'm going to get the camera. We're going to do some close-ups. Um, I'll talk about some things, um, some tips and tricks, some ways to kind of extend the life of your fly tying scissors because they will wear out. I've tossed out a bunch of them. I still have a bunch of them, um, but we can talk through a lot of the good stuff. I'll also point you to, maybe I'll, I'll try to flash it on the screen here in a little bit. A pair of scissors I truly, truly loved. I was at a fly tying show and they got stolen. So I will snap that, put it on the picture. It was actually some Dr. Slick, they're called razor scissors. Um, tying, left them on my table in, uh, at a show. Somebody walked off with them. So let's do some close-ups next, thanks. All right, scissors, fly tying scissors. Um, what makes good ones? First up, look for something that has a bigger loop, bigger finger loops. Um, comfort is what that's about. So I, I've got smaller hands, right? And you can see my thumb is getting stuck in that guy. Again, I got small hands, I'm a little guy. But something larger, loops, finger loops, good, good quality um, thing to look for. When I measured these, um, they were, you know, just shy of an inch inside. Um, when I measured these guys, uh, they were under three quarters of an inch. So, number one, look for loop size. Length, they come in all kinds of lengths, right? I prefer something in this, it's about three and a half inches. Um, I'm gonna say end to end. Again, this is kind of just a preference for people. So about from here to the very tip, three and a half inches. Look for something with a very fine point. Um, Tight. These are starting to go wore out, uh, but having them easily swing open, 
usually a sign that the edges are not connecting well together. You also see um, these little scallops on these Dr. Slicks. Uh, these little guys don't have it. What is that good for? So as you open, you can see how that scallop can actually be used to grab hold of something. So if you were, I got these uh, peacock curl, right? You could cut it here up at the tip or you could grab hold of it in that little spot. That's cause so. So that's that guy. Um, a good little tip: learn to tie, learn to tie with scissors in your hand. Right? Just a good, good thing to learn to do. Um, you will speed up your tying tremendously. That's where a good, you know, the bigger size, it's also easier for picking up and grabbing. Um, but I would learn to tie with your scissors in your hand. All right, a little tip for tightening them up. Hopefully you can see this. Inside the center of that screw, um, you can almost see where I, little, I put a little little punch in there so what you can do sometimes is put a you know a little punch you know like a nail set or something like that lay it on there firmly support it on the other side and uh, give it a little wrap um, sometimes that will tighten them up and you get a little bit more life out of your scissors so that is a straight scissor I would also recommend and I'm looking for them real quick here get some curved scissors, right? When you're tying um, some hair, some other things, and you want to get a nice shape, say you're doing um, eggs, you know, uh, having that curved shape makes a world of difference. So that would be the third set of scissors I would get is curved. So. Look for, again, to recap, large loops. This um, gold plating, I don't know that it does much. I mean, these guys here, I've used them so much actually wearing the gold plating off. But what I found is that this style, well, actually is a lot smoother, a lot more comfortable on my fingers. So this one has a little bit larger. Um, loops but it isn't doesn't have that gold on it it's not gold i'm sure but isn't as slippery on there so i'm sure that's why the gold is on the scissors um these guys are nice and tight right they're an off-brand most scissors anymore for fly tying are made in pakistan um even the dr slicks i'm sure are made in pakistan um so i, I wouldn't worry about trying to get something that's American made. So at this point, I'll probably drop on the screen what was before it disappeared. My favorite pair of scissors, which were those Dr. Slick razors. Um, you could adjust the tension on the blades. Um, very thin blades as well, you know, cutting edges. I uh, could really sneak in um, getting ready to tie some pheasant tails. And uh, you know snip things you know really close to the base of wherever you want with those very you know you didn't have to chop sometimes after you know the scissors wear a little bit dr slick razor scissors um again i'll splash that onto the screen take a look at the link below i'll probably also um you know all this stuff a lot of it all came in one kit Maybe I'll try to do a quick little review on that kit. Uh, all right, so next up, we're gonna talk about these guys, a mystery thing. So stay tuned for next week. Gonna have something talking about this tool um, in fly tying. And then from there, we'll probably get into just the, all these like little accessory type of things. Um, what they do, how do you use them, all that good stuff.
Right? 